Welcome, I wanted to make a quick video about my Ego batteries. And I've done a number of videos on my Ego equipment. And I have an Ego snowblower, lawnmower, and leaf blower. And I'll put a link in the description of my Ego playlist where you can find my previous videos. Also put a link to some of the products I have on Amazon. And if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I have four batteries here. I have a 7.5, some 5.0s, and a 2.5. This one came with my mower, the 7.5. The 5.0s came with my snowblower and the 2.5 came with my blower. So these batteries, if you buy them on their own, they're very expensive. So if you're looking at buying an Ego tool and you can get one without a battery or with a battery, I would highly recommend getting the one with a battery. Say for some odd reason you absolutely don't need the battery, you could probably buy it with the battery and sell the battery and come out ahead. But it's much cheaper to obtain the batteries while buying a tool than it is to just buy them outright. So since these are so expensive, you want them to last a long time. So I wanted to give a couple of tips that I use to hopefully help prolong their life. First, I don't charge the batteries when they're really hot or really cold so I like them to be room temperature and I'm in my basement right now we have a concrete floor and I store them down here in the basement so after I'm done mowing on a hot day the battery might be kind of warm so I'll put it down here for an hour or so and let it acclimate and then I will put it on the charger same thing in my snow blower they might be hot after I've used it or they might have cooled off if I used it and left it in the garage so when I bring it down here I'll let them acclimate and then I will charge them so these batteries have circuitry in them and after a month's time they will self discharge to 30% and go into kind of a storage mode I'm guessing that's why on the back you see kind of this mesh here I assume it has some sort of a heater in it that it can heat up to dissipate the energy in the battery but after it goes into storage mode after that month if you want to use it again then you want to charge it fully before you use it so what I like to do is I like to use these batteries year round. So in the summertime, I'm using my big 7.5 to run my mower. And if I have like really wet grass, this might drain before I finish my yard. It's pretty rare, but it might happen say once a season, maybe once or twice. And in that case, I'll switch over to one of my 5.0s and I'll rotate through the batteries. But I don't generally need to use my 5.0s for my mower because I have the blower. So a lot of times I'll take the leaf blower and I'll use the 2.5 and then I'll alternate between the 5.0s. So I'll just use them in order. I'll use the 2.5 when it drains, I'll use the 5.0s and I'll just go through those in the summer. That way I don't have to actually store these batteries. I'm actually using them. So I'll use the battery till it's depleted. I'll bring it down here. I'll leave it to cool off and I'll stick it on the charger. Cause one of the things that kills batteries is if they drain too low. Now this does have the self discharge mode and the storage mode and I can more or less trust that. So by regularly using the batteries, I'm making sure that they are getting charged up properly and discharged properly, you know, with the circuitry and the battery and on the charger. So I know it sounds weird to say I'm not paid by Ego at all, but I think it's advantageous to have multiple Ego things to use the batteries in. So if you have the mower and you don't need the snowblower, say you have a large gas snowblower, you could maybe still get the electric blower that uses an Ego battery. It gives you an extra battery. And then you can use your mower battery on it in the winter time. And you can use that to say blow off your driveway when you have a light dusting or you could blow snow off the car. I've used it to clean sidewalks. Aside from that, at the end of the season, you could charge up your mower battery and just leave it to sit. And after a month, it will go into storage mode and then charge it up at the beginning of the next season. But when I use mine and my blower in the middle of the winter, I know the battery's still working. So I know it's going to work for me in the spring. So if you take anything away from this video is to keep your batteries out of the heat and the cold, especially when you're charging them. I also like to store these on my concrete floor. I don't expect these will start on fire, but you never do know. And I'd rather have them here than in a place with a lot of wood around it. So I do have some junk clutter around here, but I usually keep the charger, which is behind here, kind of clear. So if something were to catch on fire, it would limit the damage, hopefully. These are huge batteries, so I really don't want them to catch on fire, but you can never predict when that kind of thing would happen. And in the same regard, you want ventilation around your charger. You wouldn't want to throw this thing in a closet and you know, throw clothes on it while it's charging. That would be very bad. I'm guessing it has thermal circuitry to turn it off, but I haven't tested that. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.